Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wonderful land of Skyrim. We have to go on top of a gigantic mountain place thing to talk with the Greybeards, because they have grey beards, and therefore they are wise and know everything about shouting. Because, yeah, we have to learn how to shout. I mean, we could just, you know, go scream at a training dummy, I guess, but it just wouldn't be the same. So we have to journey a long, long way. So I checked the map just before heading across here, and it reckons that we should go across to the other side of this mountain first and go to the place that we aren't supposed to go. We're supposed to end up at High Hrothgar and we should go to Ivarstead first according to this quest tracky thing. Not sure if that's correct but you know what I'd rather not climb to the top of a bloody mountain and then find out oh you know what maybe I should have gone to that other place first and then gone to the top of the mountain. So we're gonna go and head off to Ivarstead and rather than going around this mountain I'm thinking it might be easier to just use the wagon, go to Riften, and then I can just go across, you know, in a straight line, relatively straight, anyway. That should be a little bit better. So I want to go to Riften. I think that was the place. My carriage is the safest way to travel. Where do you want to go? It's got like machine gun turrets. You can't see them, but they're there. They're they're there. They've got like invisibility enchantments and stuff. Just incredible. You don't want to mess with a wagon in Skyrim. It will just thrash you. Be sure to visit the Black Briar Meter. Mugs of that and you'll forget all. I imagine a few mugs of that and you'll forget about all kinds of things, not just the trip there. But, you know. And we're having a loading screen, so, you know, did we end up having a couple of those things of mead? Just didn't even notice. Like, on the way there we had a couple. And that's what fast traveling really is. You just kind of forget about the journey. Just completely just gets wiped from your memory banks along with everything that happened. And that's part of the reason why the whole machine gun turrets on the wagon... You know, that's, that's why it's such a safeguarded secret, because no one ever remembers the trips. Ever. The uh, wagon guy makes sure of that. He makes sure of that! Anyway, so here we are, outside the stables, and let's go and check the map. Yeah, it's not too far of a walk, but well, for Skyrim, in any, in any other place, I would be moaning about this non-stop. But for Skyrim, this isn't so bad. You know, it's not so bad. Skyrim is ridiculous. And for some reason, all of the quests are always, Hey, now that you're on this side of the mountain, I think you should go to that place that's right there on the other side of that mountain. And when you get to that place, they'll just redirect you back to the other side of, you know, that mountain that you just uh, walked around, because... I don't know, Skyrim loves mountains, and it wants you to know that. A lot. And it will do everything it can to make sure that you know all about those mountains in Skyrim. Are you guys bad guys? Can I kill you? Will you give me experience if I do? Oh, you're just hunters. Oh. Where are bandits when you need them to liven up a night, an otherwise very, very boring and dull journey? <sighs> bandits, bandits, bandits. Ooh, what's that? That guy's... Oh my goodness! Okay, uh, we've got spriggans and giant wolf thingies and... Ah, this we're gonna die. Maybe not. Getting hurt quite a bit, though. Whoa! This thing is eating us alive! Kill it, Lydia! Sick it! Where is she? Lydia, you're useless. If I die, I'm blaming you. Lydia! Why? You could have saved us. You could have saved everyone. Yeah, now you're gonna fight it. Unbelievable. Where was she? What was she doing? I imagine she was, you know, checking her nails. You wanna get nails broken. It happens. You don't want that to happen. I mean, people being in danger, their lives in your hands. You don't want them in your hands if you have broken nails. It's just, oh, it's just terrible. It's such a mess. Right. So that kind of sucked. Can I at least fast travel there without having to pay? No. No, I can't. See what you've done, Lydia. Do you see what you have caused? I don't. Don't, don't speak to me. I. I don't want to speak to you. Just. Just leave me alone. Just leave me be. You, you sicken me. And we can just pop over to the stables. It'll take like two seconds, but how could you, Lydia? We trusted you. You're supposed to defend us and stuff, and you really didn't. You just stood there and watched. Just watched. What have I ever done to you? We've known each other for like five minutes. Seriously, there's no way I pissed you off that quickly. I, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. I can take you to any... Where do you want and besides, we ended up going back in time, so now you end up having to spend more time with me. How did that work out for you, miss? And now you're in my way. 
Unbelievable. Can I fire her? If you've never been to Risk, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. You mug the dads and you'll forget all. Trust me, I won't. It was a horrible trip, and I'll never forgive you, Lydia. Not for what you've done. Never. At least the loading screen thingy looks kind of cool. Got a little picture of a horse, and I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I'm not even going to guess, because it looks like a totem. Seriously, it looks like a totem. Maybe someone's a shaman, they just slap down their horse totem, I guess. No idea what that is. And it's talking about dragons, so it's not exactly like I could guess. And now this time, we're going to quick save. And Lydia? You better defend me. Oh. Yes, I know! The breath! Well, that's what happens. I've just died. What did you think? That you came back to life without cavities? Seriously, this do you think there are dentists in Skyrim? There aren't. There are none. There are no dentists in Skyrim. There's just dragons. Why do you think they're all pissed off at the time? Have you seen the size of their teeth? Can you imagine what a toothache would be like for a dragon? Exactly. See, that's the real cause of all of these problems. You just need dentists. Skyrim, you don't need mages. You don't need fearsome warriors. You need dentists. And if you sort out their dentistry problems and all their dental issues for all the dragons, you know what? They'll be so grateful that they won't even eat you. They'll go and eat something else instead, and that would just work out perfectly, wouldn't it? This time, let's see if we can avoid the deadly thingy in the woods. I got my little bow. I can see a wolf. Sort of. Boom! Sneak attack for double damage. Nice. Hello, wolves. What are you doing, wolves? The little spriggan over there. Just a chill. Whoop. Oh, they've seen me. Lydia walking in front of me, not helping. I love this bow. Is that wrong? Am I not allowed to love this bow? Oh, how did that miss? This is point blank. I'm starting to feel cheated. Lydia, you wanna, you wanna hit him? Maybe? There we go. N now maybe I can shoot him. Oh, and there's that spriggan thing. We're just going to pump it full of arrows. What is it even doing? It's very green. And it hurts. Yeah, there you go, Lydia. You got this. Yeah, you, you really don't. Never mind. You suck. How could you, Lydia? You know, we were trusting you to defend us. And you sort of tried, but you kind of failed. No offense, but you really did. Um, no, don't you want to go back to standing there? You look so good with an arrow sticking out your forehead. Seriously, it's just, it does wonders for you. It really does. You want to come back here? I'll, I'll give you one in the thigh, if you think that would be a better location. But if you need to stand still. You know how hard it is to hit a moving target with this thing? It's not a gun. It's not even a crossbow. Yes, I know, I'm a mage. I shouldn't be using bows and arrows, but this is Skyrim. The bow and arrow is the only way to take out enemies that are just ridiculously powerful. Come on, where is this thing? Stop hiding behind rocks, that is not fair. I'm doing that. I mean, I've been doing that this whole fight, but it, you can't do that. How am I supposed to hit you with arrows if you're behind a rock? Sorry about that, Lydia. I, I didn't... No! What? That doesn't seem fair at all. It just healed up just completely. Let's see if I can get it with some flames now. Maybe fire is the only way to kill it. Boom! We got it! Fire for the win! Oh yes. That was good. Oh, I, th I thought you were an enemy. I nearly set you on fire. Whew. Wrong button. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. I'm glad we made it through that. Thank you for your help this time, Lydia. I won't burn you alive, because you actually helped me this time, and therefore burning you alive would just feel wrong and unnecessary. Besides, I want my manor in case something horrible comes along. Don't want to waste mana on friendly people. You want your mana for when giant evil seeds attack. Like that one. That was a giant evil sort of root. Beware. You know? Evil roots. Nature is going to fight back. And when it does, it will hurt. It, it really did. And then it'll kill you, and then you'll come back to life. And then your companion will finally help, and then you'll actually kill nature, and then you'll feel bad. 
because it was nature, and you shouldn't have done that. Where am I even going? How are there this many mountains? Seriously, how is this even possible? Let's see the map. Which direction am I going in? Am I, am I going in the correct direction? Yeah! Yeah, I'm actually going in the correct direction. I don't even need to scale that place. I can just go around. It's all good. Everything's fine. Hopefully we won't be ambushed by those evil tree sprite things. Oh, what's that? Looks like a broken down house. Oh. Don't mind. Hey! I was just, I was just sort of, you know, strolling through. Whoa, what was that? that sounds vicious. Uh, you seem to be on, on fire. I don't know if you want to see a doctor about that. Ew. Gross. Oh, damn it. I always, I want to take everything. It's sort of, you know, it, it's an RPG thing. Maybe I can drop some of these. It's not like I really need these swords. I've got tons of swords. Damage of 8 versus a damage of 10. I can drop some of these as well. There we go, and now I can move again! I can move! I believe I can... Ooh, chest. Lovely. Ooh, we got some lockpicks, some gauntlets, some other stuff. Nope, nothing here, Lydia. Your shed... Oh, how can I give you a shed? There was nothing. There was nothing in that chest. I would never lie to you. What do you mean there was gold in the chest? What, what, what makes you think there was gold in the chest? No, I put gold in the chest, and then I took the gold back again. Because... Uh, I just felt like I needed to take something out of the chest, you know? Where'd the wolf go? Where'd he go? There we go. I've got some wolf pelts. We seem to be getting an awful lot of wolf pelts in games these days. I mean, we've got Baldur's Gate, where we're getting winter wolf pelts. We've got this, where we're getting normal, boring wolf pelts. So that's kind of a bit disappointing. But, you know, you, you can't always get the super awesome wolf pelts. Sometimes you just have to get the... Uh, the normal. At least it's not like mangy wolf pelts because that. Oh, that's just horrible. There was nothing. There was. There was nothing. You guys are awfully paranoid. And you seem to be on fire. I mean, is it's there's an outbreak. There is an outbreak of people being on fire. We might need to call the CDC. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Do the does the CDC have jurisdiction in Skyrim? Is that do they? Do any of you know if they have jurisdiction here? Or is there some other sort of Skyrim CDC? The S-CDC, or, or something. You know, uh, maybe we can get the Empire on this, controlling the outbreak. I mean, Dragon's really terrible, but an outbreak of people being on fire, that I think that's got to take precedence. You know, you've got to start screening um, people out. Maybe they already are, and that's why they're wandering around the wilderness. Because why else would they be wandering around the wilderness? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on! Why wouldn't they? be in the city where it's nice and warm and friendly but instead they're running around in the forest because they're on fire and they have this they've caught this strange fiery uh, you know this strange fiery plague it's horrible just horrible oh well but you know that's just it's life on top of better dentistry we apparently need better doctors to try and solve this fiery outbreak and I wonder what could possibly be causing it I just I have no idea you know I mean, dragons breathe fire, so it, it might be that. Maybe the uh, dragons are causing this uh, fiery outbreak, this pestilence, this horrible plague. But I don't think so, because these dragons haven't been attacking all of these places, so I'm thinking that there might be some other cause to this fiery outbreak. And um, let's just hope it doesn't spread you know, too far. You've got to be very, very careful about things like these. And maybe people should stock up on health potions and try and swim a lot, maybe that will help to avoid this fiery outbreak. You know, bathing might help. Uh, you know. It's worth a shot. You gotta, you gotta try. You have got to try. Are we there yet? This is insane! Skyrim, why are you so... Oh, we're nearly there, at least. We are nearly there. I mean, if I were reviewing this, I would call this a vast, expansive world, and how you know, lovely that is, but since I'm playing it, I can moan about it because it is a vast, expansive world, damn it! And wow, is everything so far away? So very far away. Really, it's insane. I mean, it's a vast, expansive world, and that's fantastic. Provided you have, you know, a motorbike or a car or something. 
Hey, you've also got fire. How did, how did you know? I mean, word travels fast in this place. Seriously. These people gossip an awful lot. I mean, a lot. Is this the correct direction, then? Is this the start? This doesn't look like it's very well maintained. If this is a road, I... This is pathetic. Oh, there we go. Now oh, that's more of a road. That's that's better. It's looking good. Looking much better. We can quick save now. I think that we have just begun the 7,000 step journey because installing elevators is just too much trouble. And they don't really like visitors. And 7,000 steps, for some reason, they kind of discourage people from coming along. And another fiery outbreak. What is causing this? Even in such an isolated place as this, we have these cases of uh, the fiery outbreak. And yeah, definitely gonna have to call the SCDC. Oh well, you know, what can you do? We're, we're doing our job, you know, we're trying to kill all of the fiery outbreak victims that we come across, just to try and prevent that from spreading too far. Oh no, it's a fiery goat! Does it, it, it doesn't even seem to care about species. It, it, so far we've seen wolves, we've seen people, we've seen goats. They're all on fire. It's, just, it's everywhere. Oh, hi. Just a random person carrying a torch. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to high rock. You know, you will not believe what I saw in the woods. I mean, there were wolves there, so why wouldn't there be wolves here too? Because wolves are just everywhere. I guess wolves are the new rats. You know, in, normally in games, when you first started off, they want to make you fight something, go kill some rats, because that's literally all you can handle. But in Skyrim, they start you off with wolves, which are tumbling down the steps in a sort of comical fashion. These steps are really badly maintained. They, they, they don't even look like they were ever placed well. So, so far the list of things that Skyrim people are terrible at is growing, and steps, and building steps, and stairs, just... It's one of those things. Look at that, a wolf, and it was on fire, but don't worry, we put the fire out for you, Mr. Wolf, so you can feel free to scamper around. You have been cured. You're fine, so you're not on fire anymore. You're, you're all good, you can go and run off and, you know, run around with your wolf pals, I guess, you know? You, you're fine now. There's no more fiery outbreak on that wolf. We are solving Skyrim's problems three at a time. Is this some kind of offering? Okay, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna just take this. They probably never come down here, I'm, I'm doing them a favor, really. I don't want to take the bowl! Yeah, I'm just gonna, oh look at that, there's a bowl filled with money, I'm gonna take the bowl and leave the money. Valuable bowls, you have to be very, very careful of those. People will just get mugged for their bowls constantly. And, um, you know, the same thing happens if you're carrying around a plate. Be, be very careful if you're carrying around plates. Wow. And crockery, if you're carrying around like a pot or, or a pan, you are in serious danger! And you've got to be very careful. You, you've got to be super careful and cautious when you're carrying around pots and pans. You know, it's just... it's dangerous stuff. Really, really dangerous stuff. It's just another person. This place seems to be awfully populated. Careful with that fire. What fire? Are you on? Are you on fire? Do you want to be cured? I can. I can cure you pretty easily. Speak, elf. Yeah, go away. Until next time. No, there won't be a next time. You weren't particularly intriguing the first time, and I'd rather not repeat the experience. But thanks. I uh, appreciate the sentiment behind that. I guess. Lydia, are you. Where the hell are you? How are you not keeping up? You're the trained warrior. I'm the super unfit mage guy, who reads a lot and spends time indoors, and I'm still super far ahead of you. You disappoint me, Lydia. You disappoint me. Oh no. Please kill it, Lydia. No, oh, kill it! Kill it! I'm just gonna stand here with my flamethrower that is slowly running out of mana. There we go. And we're, we're still trying to solve these horrible, horrible outbreaks. They're just everywhere. Now they're affecting trolls high up in the mountains. It is spreading rapidly. There's just no way we can keep it under control. We're just going to have to steal everyone's money. Because, no, that's not going to stop the spread of the fire. It's just that, you know, I kind of want the money. That's all. There's no other reason.
no ulterior motive. I, I just want the money. That's all. Yeah. What are people on fire going to do with money anyway? They've got bigger things to worry about. Like the fact that they're on fire. And tax. Oh, the tax. It, it, it's always on people's minds. Skyrim tax is just insanity. You know? Except when you steal stuff. You don't tend to pay taxes on that. For some reason, you know, you don't want to publicly disclose the stuff that you've stolen. I don't know why. Maybe Lydia can tell you. Lydia? Lydia? Hello? What were you doing? Were you just picking a flower? Newsflash, there are no flowers. This is like a snowy wasteland. Fool. Were you just picking a tree? Just sort of pointing on your pocket or something. Just a, just a massive tree, you know? I feel kind of nervous about constantly turning around to check on you and talk to you for some reason. Because so far we've encountered some seriously hor horrifying and horrific creatures. Like that gigantic troll that could probably have killed me in one hit. Except that he was very, very slow. Probably due to the combination of him being stuck in the snow and being on fire. For some reason, it's just so difficult to concentrate on things when you're on fire. I don't know what it is. It just sort of... just breaks your concentration for whatever reason. Where... how are you this slow? How are you this slow? I told you not to wear heels, but no! You gotta wear your heels. Are you not sprinting? Are you just sort of slowly waddling? Who needs you anyway? They didn't call you, they called me. Oh, an empty chest, that's a bit boring. Why would you put a potion of minor healing there? And you got some tomatoes as well. And let's quick save. And in we go. For we are the dragonborn, and who needs keys? They just want to freely admit us. Besides, I don't think you really need to lock your door when no one would ever go near that place because it is so far away. And if you ever do go through that door, you've got like a whole bunch of people with grey beards that will shout at you. So that would just be horrible and something you'd like to avoid. Hello there! So, a dragonborn appears I'm just gonna stare at the ceiling. Don't mind me. Just casually TV. leaning back quite a lot, actually. That is a very interesting roof you have. Um, but just, you know. You can, okay, I'm answering your summons. There we go. Let's go with that. We will see if you truly have the gift. I just climbed 7,000 seven thousand steps. I have just more than a couple of gifts. I have these feet, and they're incredible gifts, because I managed to climb seven thousand... Do you have any idea how far away this place is? Seriously, it's insane. But no, just just test me. You don't even offer to let me rest or something. Fine. Sorry, you were saying? I couldn't hear you over the sound of me shouting. Welcome to High Rothko. How did this guy even doubt me? I am Though I must admit, it is kind of a good anger release to I shout at the guy. The now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I, uh, heard you guys make a fantastic, uh, soup. Just, it's so good, apparently. Uh, like, like tomato, tomato soup. I, I heard it was fantastic, just absolutely brilliant. And so I, I sort of came along to try that out. You know? But hey, while I'm here, let's just do Dragonborn stuff. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? I don't feel unique anymore. You're, You're ruining it for me. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay, okay, all good, all good. Cool, let's just, let's get going, I'm gonna shout at some people. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I just shouted at you, it's kind of, kind of obvious. Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? Another path? You know how long the previous path was? Okay? This better be a very short path, pal. I'm gonna see it again. I feel the need for some anger management release. There we go. How was that? Pretty good. Okay, that's, that's it's fascinating. But come on, let's go. Made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Roll, the second word 
And that would be who? This guy. Alright, fantastic. Okay, okay. Uh, you just oh you've you've broken the tiles you you no wonder the stairs are messed up wow that's probably going to be very costly to fix just just pointing that out ah hey, look at that I managed to fix it for you I am amazing I literally just walked over the letters that's not exactly learning it I'm like a master I just walked over it. Well, that is how the rest of us learn chunks. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. He sounds kind of jealous. I don't really blame As him. part of your no. initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Why can't I just get all of your understandings? That way I could, you know, advance a little bit faster, fight off the bad evil dragons that are coming to kill the world, that kind of stuff. Uh, do you want me to just shout at you? Sorry about that. You said that it doesn't hurt you, though. What targets? That doesn't... There we go. There we go. Okay, fine. Well, you could have said that before I wasted my shout on innocent bystanders. If you could, you know... Hurry up. I don't have all day. I've got things to do, worlds to save, universes to prevent the conquering of. Oh, my bad. Well, well, of course I can. I just sort of pressed it too quickly. Okay, come on, summon it. There we go. There we go. One more time. I think that I've kind of mastered it now. Can we can we skip the last one? I mean, you know, I do. I've, I'm kind of tired. Those were seven thousand steps. It was, it was fairly, uh, pretty long pathway. It was kind of terrible. Sorry about that. My bad. You know, sometimes it just sort of gets carried away from my. I get carried away. Of course I do. I'm the Dragonborn. I'm, I'm lost. The Dragonborn is lost. The Dragonborn requires a. Oh, hello. Follow Master Boy. Okay, well, next next lesson then. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Skyrim series. Let me know if you are. You know, comments, likes, that kind of stuff. And I am definitely enjoying the Skyrim series because Skyrim is awesome and cheerio.